Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at flood hydrographs. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. Water returns to rivers by groundwater flow, through flow or surface runoff, which is also known as overland flow. And the speed of this return depends on a number of physical and human factors. River discharge is a volume of water flowing through a river channel at any given point and is measured in cubic metres per second or cumex. River discharge is determined by rainfall and this relationship is shown on a flood hydrograph which shows how discharge changes after a storm event. On a hydrograph the horizontal axis shows time in hours or days and the vertical axis sh shows both rainfall in millimetres and discharge in cumex. Rainfall is shown by a bar graph and discharge is shown by the line graph. The rising limb shows how fast the river level is rising and is always steeper than the falling limb which shows how quickly the river level recedes after a flood event. During a storm water reaches the river by surface runoff over impermeable surfaces which causes river discharge to rise quickly hence a steep rising limb. Once the surface runoff has stopped, the river discharge can start to fall. This decreases at a steady rate, which is why the falling limb on a hydrograph is less steep. This is because the water reaching the river is mainly flowing as through flow, which is through the soil, which is slower than surface runoff. After a storm event, the river will return to its base flow because the water flowing into it is from groundwater flow. This is through rocks, and therefore it is a much slower flow. You will also notice that on the screen we have referred to the peak rainfall, which is the highest amount of rain, and the peak discharge, which is the highest river level after a storm. The distance between the two in terms of time, usually the number of hours, is called the lag time. So this is the amount of time it takes in the peak rainfall to reach the peak river discharge level. Okay, and once the storm's over, the river will return to what we call the base flow, which is the normal river flow. It's worth knowing also that hydrographs can either be flashy response or they can be slow flow hydrographs. So slow flow hydrographs have a steady rising limb, which is actually a similar gradient to the falling limb, low peak discharge and a long lag time, which means that the flood risk here is low. Whereas a flashy hydrograph often shows a sudden onset flood event where they have a steep rising limb caused by high surface runoff so water enters the river much more quickly with a short lag time. This means that the flood risk is high. There are many factors that increase the risk of a flash flood. These are prolonged rainfall leading to saturated soil which cannot absorb any more water. Drought conditions beforehand so the soil has become baked hard and is too hard to absorb water. Soil and rock type that is impermeable such as clay so water cannot infiltrate. Steep sided valleys so water runs down the slope rather than infiltrating into the soil. A flat floodplain making the water hard to drain. A small river basin so the tributaries join the main river quickly which increases discharge. Deforestation, so less leaves for interception and roots to absorb water. And finally, urbanisation, so the land is covered in impermeable concrete and tarmac, which increases surface runoff. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on flood hydrographs. Thank you for watching.